Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to check and adjust the idle screw on pretty much anything early Chrysler fuel injection. Um, we'll be using my supercharged 4 liter Jeep Grand Cherokee and I've also got the, the Dakota behind you. I can show you the throttle adjustment on it too. But I'm going to be doing the testing on the Jeep. But in general it all works the same. So let's get after it. First thing we got to do is get the intake out of the way. Um, yours won't look like this. I've got an M90 Thunderbird supercharger intercooler and this thing's got a hood scoop works pretty good so uh you won't have that but either way we need to get this out of the way now we'll i'll explain why we need to check this for the most part if your jeep's stock you probably don't have to touch this because there's no real reason to now if yours is factory and it's starting to die randomly when you rev it up and let off the throttle and if you do that quickly and it dies this is probably just gummed up you just need to take it off and clean it up you can see this one's got a little bit of goo in it but i mean just barely it's actually pretty clean but this will get gummed up and where it's bleeding air through here that'll get gummed up and clog that up and that's why it does it so if you clean it out you're fine this video is more for the guys that are running cams or strokers or any of those things. So I'm in the process of tuning one right now. And the problem is, is sometimes they'll wrap it up and then it will die. Now, usually that's because this needs opened up. Because the idle air control will keep it running for the most part. But those real quick throttle transitions, you're really asking the idle air control to do too much. It needs to have a physical limit. So... I'm going to show you how to check that and see where you're at and then we're going to adjust it so what we're going to do is fire this thing up and let it come to idle and then we're going to unplug the brake booster hose and i'm going to unplug my blow off valve hose just got this in there to cap it off and when we when we unplug those things rpms are going to go up the idle air control because it's computer controlled it's going to try to bring the rpms back down by closing that valve so we want that valve to close as far as it will, and then we unplug the connector so it can open back up. And then when we seal these back off, wherever it idles at, that's your base. And usually I like to have those on, on the things I'm tuning 50 to 100 RPMs lower than, than the base idle you have in the computer. Because you don't want this to be so close to the edge of where this is closing, because, see, this one's not the cleanest. But it's just a needle and seat type thing. So when it's really close to the end, it's very sensitive. You might get throttle hunting or idle hunting where it revs up and down a little bit because you're right there at a touchy spot. You want it to be back just a little bit further. So you want the idle air control to be doing a little bit of work. So I'll fire this thing up and we'll uncork it and unplug it. That's how we know we need to adjust it. On Jeeps, it's kind of a pain because you've got to pull off the throttle body because uh, the Allen is from the bottom side, so that kind of sucks. On the uh, the 318, 360, the, the little V6, the 39 V6 Magnum, on all those there's a welch plug right in front of it, and I'll show you how to get that out later. That welch plug is right here. I believe I use an I think it's a quarter inch pipe tap and a drill and it bites it spins pulls it right out and then it's like a t27 in behind there i'll show you on my truck but this isn't too bad let's pull these throttle cables off unplug your sensors i 
guess a 10 millimeter to get it off. Four bolts. This is not a big deal. It's not a big project for anybody. Do remote tuning for mainly boosted Jeeps. But uh, this is something I've had to walk some people through, so I figured I'd just make a video to show you how to do it. And if you're having problems, even on your stock one, this will kind of give you an idea of what to look at. So here is the adjustment screw. You see this just lands on it. So we're just setting the base throttle position with it. It's a 2.5 millimeter. You see why it's kind of a pain. You gotta take this off every time just to check it. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go with half a turn. And we'll go, we'll go like three quarter. And unfortunately, in this setup, we gotta put it back on, fire it back up. But at least the idle air control is already shut. All we got to do is start it. So four bolts on, fire it up, see where it idles at. If it's not up enough, we take it back off, turn it in some more. So let's see what we did. Let's plug back in except for the idle air control. See if she idles now. pretty much do it. I'm just going to fire it up one more time. I uh, adjusted it back in just a hair. We're idling at 750. I'd like it just a little lower manually. But uh, everything's hooked back up. I layer control. So we'll fire it up. That's all there is to it. When you see me putting my thumb over here, I'm listening for the whistle. Just taking air from here and putting it on the other side of the throttle blade. That's how it works. So I'm just listening to see if it's how much air it's moving. And to make sure whenever we had it unplugged that it wasn't moving any air. So that's how you do it on a Jeep. It's idling at 675. I've got mine set at 750 in a computer. So now I'll show you how to do it on the Dakota. Nice, you're gonna go through the process I'm just gonna point it where the adjustment is because it's the same thing right there so once you get that watch plug out of there that's like a t27 and then do the same thing um, this truck I had a air control circuit in the computer it is fried it doesn't work anymore there's several things I just haven't gotten a new computer and I haven't wanted to, so if you've had those problems also, and because I'd have to pay for another license for another VIN for HP tuners, and mine, I don't use AC, so there's no AC at all, it's fine. But if your idle air control takes a crap, you can adjust this manually, and just unplug it, and never worry about that again. So, uh... Well, that's it. It's really not that big of a project. I think most people can handle it. I'm sure at the dealer it's probably a little bit different procedure, but this works. 
and I've done this with Ford, Chevys, Dodge. It's all basically the same procedure, the same same thing. So this is mostly for my tuning people. I do remote tuning on JTEC stuff, Rams, Dakotas, Jeeps, a lot of Jeeps, turbo and supercharged. If you got a cam and a stroker, your minimum airflow has gone up, and you need to adjust your throttle body to compensate for that. The idle air control will will cover a lot of things, but you'll have weird intermittent problems, like you rev up and let off real quick and it dies a couple times. That's probably the problem, and that's how you fix it. But if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Have any suggestions of your own, drop them in the comments. And thank you for watching.